What is the secret to happiness? There's not really a secret, and most of these suggestions wouldn't work for someone with a chemical imbalance, but I thought I would share what has worked for me. The basic idea is to just move on, and not dwell on things that make you unhappy. Did that movie totally blow ass? Don't go see it again. Did that opening band suck? Don't buy their album. Did that person on the internet say something you disagree with? Scroll past it. There's so much stuff out there that you can experience, right now, probably for free, so there's absolutely no excuse for spending your free time complaining about stuff that has no meaningful effect on the real world. One thing that helped me feel happier with myself, though that wasn't my original goal, was to consciously try not to be so judgmental of others. I tried to notice when I would judge strangers by their appearance, and started a little game of making up a second story, like, if I saw a guy in an ugly Hawaiian shirt sitting at a bar. I would force myself to notice the story that my brain automatically made up to fill in the details, he's an alcoholic, he's unemployed, he has no family, he has no fashion sense, etc. Then I would make up an alternate story. Maybe he's a doctor on vacation and his family is out shopping. Maybe that's his wife's favorite shirt and he wears it because he loves her. This sounds really stupid when I type it out, but after doing this for a while, I noticed that the harsh initial judgments stopped coming at all. And once they stopped, I noticed that my own internal stream of self-hate started to quiet down, too. I found that I was no longer dwelling on how people must think I'm ugly or stupid. Quite by surprise, I started to accept myself for who I am, for the first time in my life. I think a lot of people have a sort of addiction to either anger, sadness, or both. Everyone says they want to be happy, yet we go back to things that upset us over and over again. Combine this with our natural tendency towards egotism and we got a lot of unhappy people who think they're the only ones doing it right. To me, being happy means accepting that the world is full of crazy people who believe that they're sane. People who are just trying to get through their day without experiencing any great hardships. People who are totally different from you, but as long as no one is harming anyone else. Their points of view are just as valid as yours, and your point of view is just as valid as theirs. TL, DR don't hate, hate only makes you hate yourself, be excellent to each other, yada yada. Happiness is a state of mind. You can train your brain into being a happier person. The reverse is also true, damn emo kids. There is no secret. If you want to be happy, find the things that make you happy and do them as much as possible. Find the people that make you happy and make them as big of a part of your life as possible. Find the mindset that makes you happy and work on staying in that mindset as much as you can. The secret is that there's no secret. It takes work, just like anything else. Positivity, be optimistic and look at the bright sides of life. Just be thankful for what you have, you never know when it will be gone. Staying on a regular poop schedule. Attitude. Here is one of my favorite quotes about having a positive attitude. The longer I love, the more I realize the impact of attitude on life. Attitude, to me, is more important than facts. It is more important than the past, than education, than money, than circumstances, than failures, than successes, than what other people think or say or do. It is more important than appearance, giftedness, or skill. It will make or break a company, a church, a home. The remarkable thing is we have a choice every day regarding the attitude we will embrace for that day. We cannot change our past, we cannot change the fact that people will act in a certain way. We cannot change the inevitable. The only thing we can do is play on the one string we have, and that is our attitude, I am convinced that life is 10% what happens to me and 90% how I react to it. And so it is with you, we are in charge of our attitudes. Charles R. Swindle
not giving a shit about what other people think, for the most part. Knowing how to separate work from personal life and not stress out on either while doing the other. Having close friends slash family. However few they may be. One close friend is infinitely better than 20 not so close friends. Limiting slash avoiding things that cause harmful stress, physical, emotional, mental. Not trying to be happy. You get a hobby, find a job, have a goal and some hope, and happiness will come. Stop actively searching for it, and it will find you. Happiness is having someone to love something to do and something to hope for. Well, it's nothing very special. Uh, try and be nice to people, avoid eating fat, read a good book every now and then, get some walking in, and try and live together in peace and harmony with people of all creeds and nations. It's your personal feeling and a state of mind. Happiness is being okay with your inner self. That's how I feel about it. All you need is love. And maybe some money. Denial. Just don't acknowledge the bad parts of your life and everything will be grand. Money helps. Don't know if it's the secret key to it, but it sure as hell helps. Happy wife, happy life. Also, rum. Understanding that you can't always be happy. Fake it till you make it, seriously. No expectations, or at least low expectations. Finding something you love, and doing it as much as you can. 